Psycho Sickler here. Welcome to my channel and my eyes swollen right now. Why are my eyes always swollen when you're on the camera? I don't know because the camera don't like you and you about to break it. Bounce. It's your forehead. Woo! You see, that's why I'm a say I'm a slave to the swoop now, because they always calling me go ahead for it. <laughs> but we're gonna leave that right there. Back to you guys. So story time as you can see down below and if you haven't please subscribe subscribe comment and share so we can be together so on, by the way I made this piece this week y'all like it yeah I'm trying to save coins and I just I just curled it and stuff so this is the piece I made y'all like it yay all right so I was always this type of person that, um, you know, I had praise to God. We grew up in a Christian home and um, I, you know, made a prayer and I'm like, Lord Jesus, please save me two ways, the, uh, sexually and academically. Cause I'm like, I know Sister Week and I would always want it to be the one to look at my husband and be like, you're the first and the last. Now, needless to say, sisters struggle with temptations. You know what I'm saying? Um, but every time I thought, you know what, forget this, I'm gonna go all the way, da, da, da. something would always happen, whether it's an accident on the road, my parents calling with some emergency or something, where my fleshy desires could not be fulfilled. So, <laughs> sister really, <laughs> ready to get married right so me and my husband you know we're preparing the marriage the wedding uh, my parents and everything we're doing this and then a week prior I went to go drop something off at the apartment now every time I go on a date or see that I'm getting close to a guy which um, maybe it was like three and that I could think of you know and I would tell them this is this is my goal this is what I would want you know if I would be able to this is what I would want to do and also I also did put my parents like on a pedestal and stuff but um a week come and then I go drop something off at the apartment that we had got uh before so that was a week before the wedding and I'm like forget this <laughs> my little negative conscious and the enemy is like, y'all gonna get married anyways. No one needs to know. Go ahead and do this, you know. So I'm going ahead and I'm kissing him goodbye. And I'm like, forget this. I'm gonna do this today. Yo. Yo, girl. Stripped. Butt. Booty. Naked. On the floor. Like, we gonna do this. Do you know what homeboy did? What my husband did? He got up, closed his eyes, pointed to the door. I'm going to say to the left, to the left. Get out. I am not going to come between your covenant, between you and God. Out. I picked up my jaws, clothes. And walked out the door. I felt like I was like, ooh, ooh. Sister went home embarrassed, <laughs> feeling rejected, and like, what the hell just happened? So then he calls me. Now I'm crying. I'm in repentance mode. I'm like, Jesus, please forgive me. Oh my God, and uh, whatever. And, um, so now I'm, I'm crying in the car and I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, it was only a week. What's a week? You know, we fought and struggled through holding this down and fighting temptations and all that, whatever, coming close and not just, you know, and um, he calls me and he was like, hold up, rewind, bring that back. I don't know what just happened to me. I think I had an out of body experience. I would never reject a fine woman as you. Let's try that again. I'm like, I'm in repentance mode. I can't do this. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to wait till next week. Just oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I ended up going home. And I was kicked out. 
let me know <laughs> what you would have done, how your situation would have gone differently. I thank God that um, I had a person who respected the wish and the covenant and the agreement that I made with Christ and he respected it as much as he did want to go ahead. I mean, it, it took a lot in him to be able to do so. So I, I really thank God. Um, I think maybe if I was probably with I didn't go along with God's plan or wishes, then I probably probably would have been taken advantage of uh, from, by someone else. Who knows? But um, that's my story. So if you like these story times, don't forget again to subscribe, comment. See you later, warriors, and keep being a warrior. Peace.